Now we're going to prep the skin. I'm not using too much foundation, but I'll use some concealer from Jane Riddell and uh, foundation. And of course, we want to prime the lids for your eye makeup to stay well. I'm going to apply some of the setting powder. We don't want any creasing. And then I did use the Silly Eye Stickies by Chloe in the light. Because I never actually get fallout in the light, but I just like, well, just in case. And then I did my brows with Jane Riddell Brow Kit. And now we're getting to the fun stuff, which is uh, you're gonna use a black full eyeliner. So you're gonna line in your lower lash line. And then you're gonna create a little wing coming from lower lash line. And a little bit on the upper lash line, which is gonna be thin. You don't want to have thick line there if you have any line at all. Some people choose almost not to do the line, just use some eye shadow, but I choose to do the line because I'll be adding false eyelashes. Now make sure your um, eye um, pencil is all, you know, even on both sides. The wing, which comes from lower eyelash. If you need to fix, you can use a little Q-tip. And, Q and then I'm using black Max eyeshadow, which is really gorgeous. I remember, but um, you need the black as or it's a carbon. So you just remember. And then I uh, use a little bit of peachy golden peach from Jane Ardell got pencil to highlight in our corner and a little under brows and then also the more orangey tone I use a little bit in the crease you could have done that before you put eyeliner and it probably is harder to do but um, I am just getting better recording these videos trying to do better so but you know, because it's a, like a smoky sort of eye, so it doesn't really matter. What it also helps to do is still kind of to blunt out that upper line, anyways, because we don't want the upper line to be too strong. So all focus is on the lower lash smokiness. So you're gonna keep blending. Now you, you can add more on the lower lash. So you can have less, depends how intense you want it to be. I always start better less at the beginning than too much. And you see, you need to blend it until you're happy with it. Now, some people use tape, but I'm kind of not into using tapes. I like to train my hands so I can evenly do both sides with my hand and eyes. If you learn to do it on yourself, you can do it on everyone because it's harder to do it on yourself. I'm using this cream blush because I really like the dewy glow that they give. This one is Connection from Jane Riddell. It smells so good too. And I'm using some um, golden tone, kind of like bronzer, highlighter, it's Moon Glow from Jane Riddell. And we, I'm gonna use a little bit contour from the Cool Contour Kit, Great Shape, and um, this bronzer from Jane Riddell too. So bronze, but um, it does have a little sparkle, which I don't mind. More like a fun, like Kim Kardashian look, I guess. Oh, with that lower smoky eyelid. Contour. Whatever you feel like it. I usually do a little bit of my nose, my cheeks, my jaw, and my forehead. When I'm using Max Eyelash Primer. It really helps to make lashes stand out better and protect. I already put earlier my lash conditioner from Jane Riddell too, but I use both usually because Max is thick and small and Jane Riddell really protects more. Um, so, and then I'm adding those Jane Riddell Jet Black Eyelash Mascara, and then I'm doing a little bit sort of, this is Morphe's actually, 
eyebrow gel to kind of stand up the hair a little bit for that like modern Victoria look. I think it's fun. I'm extending the brows just a little. Then I gotta do the uh, fake eyelashes now. I always use white glue because if black you mess up, it can mess up your whole eye look. I wait until they dry a little bit and then I curl them. This opens up the eyes more and I kind of fix them a little bit if I need to. Now I'm using, this is Jane Ardell's lip uh, crayon and this color is, trying to find, I always forget. The pinky. It's almost like lip liner and lipstick in one. It's yummy, guys. And then I also added on top, I think it was Sangria, the lip gloss. I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know what you like to see in the next video, and I'll see you soon. Have fun!